Welcome back to another Phone Fix Friday. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to configure a new display so that you not only get back your true tone functionality, but that you also take the phone from recognizing the display as non genuine back to a genuine state. Let's get into the video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to complete the repair mode after replacing the screen. First, let's disconnect the battery and the old screen and the proximity sensor. Next, we need to remove the proximity sensor. So I will remove the screws and the bracket that hold down the two sensors and the microphone. With the assistance of some isopropyl alcohol and a little pry tool, I will loosen the adhesive of the back of the proximity sensor flex and carefully lift the sensor away from the display using a pair of tweezers, gently popping it away without damaging the flex. Here we have a new display where we'll install that original sensor flex, ensuring that we put back the bracket and the proper screws. Now let's connect the new display and original proximity sensor to the motherboard. Power on the phone so that we can proceed with the testing. First, let's test the automatic brightness adjustment. As you see, the light center is not functioning properly. If we check the true tone functionality, it's not working properly. We go to general about, a window will appear for parts and service history and the display was detected. And when we go to restart and finish the repair, we find that it is unable to configure. There may be a problem with the server or network. Please try again, later appears. We'll click okay. We will turn off the phone, press and hold the volume up and volume down buttons, and then connect the USB cable. Once the Apple logo appears, release the volume up and volume down button. At this point, the phone will forcibly end to repair mode. Click continue, connect to Wi-Fi, and click agree. Select Finish Repair. After the configuration is complete, it will show a message indicating that the screen is an unknown part. Then it will display a message saying unable to configure display. Click Continue and the phone will restart. You can see after rebooting and going to the settings, we have a parts and service display message. Now let's apply the solution to this issue. First, remove the new screen. Use the DLF210 device. Connect the old screen's flex cable to the corresponding connector. Click read data to save the old screen data to the device. Connect the new screen and its flex cable to the corresponding model connector. 
click Write Data. After that's successful, we can go ahead and connect it back up to the phone. Power on the device and perform a test. Now we can check and see if the brightness is working. And as you can see, when we hold up an LED and test the automatic brightness adjustment, this feature is finally restored and it automatically starts to go up. Open settings and click on enter repair mode. At this point, the network configuration error message will no longer appear. After clicking, the phone will restart automatically. Continue. After connecting to Wi-Fi, the configuration information will show the component as genuine. Click continue and the phone will reboot. May take a few minutes to configure and we'll restart the phone. Now when we go into the settings and go into general and about, we open the settings and we do see the part is displayed as used, which means the device now recognizes it as an original part. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Hopefully this has helped. If you've run into this issue when trying to do a screen replacement. Thanks a ton for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.